Today, in our Ask a Scientist segment, we'll be hearing from Dr. Erin Meyer Gutbrod answering questions about her research on right whales. Since there are more whale sightings further north, what will it take for local governments in that region to put regulations to keep them safe? Thanks. That's a really important question. There are several important ways that governments can help protect right whales. Right whales can get injured or killed by being struck by boats or being tangled up in fishing gear. So local governments and federal governments can help right whales by enforcing vessel speed limits, and that's going to reduce ship strikes. Um, And they can also change the location of shipping lanes so that shipping lanes route around the areas that right whales spend most of their time in. Fishing gear entanglement is also something that people can reduce by reducing the amount of fishing gear in the water. So that could be limiting the amount of gear or limiting the seasonality of the gear so that fishing doesn't really happen at the same times and at the same places that the right whales prefer to occupy. So a lot of the fishing that occurs in the Gulf of Maine in the U.S. and the Gulf of St. Lawrence in Canada um, is pot or trap fishing. So there's been some work to develop ropeless gear And the way that works is the fishers deploy the trap, but there is no rope and there is no buoy. And they can send an acoustic signal into the water. That's just a a special sound. And so when the trap receives that sound, uh, it will be programmed to do something like inflate a buoy and send a buoy to the surface. And the benefit of this gear is that that rope is only in the water at just the, that moment that the fisherman is retrieving the trap, right? So most of the time it's ropeless fishing gear. Right now, one of the trickiest things facing us is that we don't always know where the right whales are going. So what we need to do is spend more time watching where whales are in the water. So increase our survey effort, increase our monitoring. Um, and we can also build computer models that will predict where right whales will go especially depending on changes uh, in the climate and in the oceans. As long as we can predict where they're going, then we can make sure that those protective policies are in place and we're actually protecting the right places where the right whales are using. To find out more about Dr. Meyer Gutbrod's research on right whales, check out the article adapted by Science Journal for Kids titled, Why Are Whales in Trouble Again?